Uh, I was working until December of last year in the Diyarbakir Metropolitan Municipality. This is the biggest city in the Kurdish territories of the Turkish state. We call it North Kurdistan. I have been fired after the Turkish government has arrested our mayors and has taken our municipalities by force and there's now a forced administrator and they took almost all of our municipalities. And apart from that, I am politically active in the Mesopotamian ecology movement. It's an ecology movement in the, all, of, all parts of North Kurdistan, quite new and uh, has become also very strong until the state of emergency. Barcelona is a very interesting uh, case because it is ruled now by Barcelona and Comú, which was a social movement in the city and surroundings. And it took over, it could, uh, it could get the majority of the votes. Um, so a social movement comes to the uh, uh, local government. And uh, interesting is that they try not to disconnect from the social movements that they show a, a fort to have the strong connections but this is of course very difficult because as they, we have a framework which is to, uh, given by the central government and uh, a lot of limits financial political and you have to move in this uh, space and um, Yes, you are a small, uh, you are a power on the local level and you must fight against alienation, against becoming elite, to have uh, the strong connection to the population. And we are looking to this, how it could work. We have a different example, uh, experience. Uh, we have developed another uh, model in North Kurdistan. And uh, yes, in this sense, it is very interesting for us. Uh, our city belongs to the brave cities, to the fearless cities uh, of the Republic of Turkey. Uh, it is the biggest city in North Kurdistan and uh, the political model which we uh, develop there uh, is focused a lot on Ahmet or Diyarbakir. <coughs> uh, what is the model? We have the municipality, but on the city level decides a structure which includes a social movement, the unions, political parties, uh, NGOs, other actors in a society. It has been not recognized by the Turkish government or Turkish laws, but in pract we practice it. So uh, in this structure are also delegates from the neighborhood assemblies, which we have now for almost 10 years. So all these actors come together and discuss and take decisions, mostly in consensus. What's interesting, and uh, no, there are a lot of interesting, important points, but one is that um, the fact that the different actors in the local society come together, they try, have to find a common solution, a kind of consensus. And this um, is the best solution instead of that one or two actors dominate over the others. This is a case with parliamentarism or the representative democracy. Um, we, saw, we have the idea that it's not enough to have a political party uh, which takes the power on the local level and has the best uh, ideas or approaches. It's also an issue of mechanism, structure. This is also very important. The political idea, the thoughts, the ideological approach, the first point, the second one, to find a way how you really decide the so-called decision-making process. And the, we, not in all of our cities of North Kyrgyzstan, we practice it very well, but there are some good cities, uh, let's say towns. Um, for us, it, it, it means to start to organize a society from the very bottom up, uh, from the neighborhoods, from the uh, streets, through neighborhood assemblies and through communes, which are the uh, goes down, more down to the bottom. 
where the people can find each other, where uh, you have a community uh, which, how to say, is still understandable for the, for the individuum, uh, where he can say, okay, this is this area. And um, this uh, democracy starts for us there. We must rethink democracy or a liberated society, an emancipated society from the very bottom up. And the uh, city or town level would be uh, the structure where all these neighborhood assemblies and communes come together and which is an important uh, structure uh, for a new society, for an alternative society, for, uh, which can develop solutions, a perspective for the, our crisis, for our multi-dimensional crisis, for our deep crisis, economic, financial, ideological. Uh, we must uh, bring the cities, towns, the localities in a strong network or coalition even together and discuss. We don't know what we, how to formulate uh, the society in a bigger scale but it's an issue of steps we must just take the steps on the uh, town city level and we will through our discussion and experience go ahead